guys, Homes by God is here, and I am so excited to finally be making this video. So I'm just going to let you know now, it might be kind of long. It is about accessories for, and I was going to say natural hair care, but these, you can, anybody can wear these hair accessories. I personally have become a little obsessed with accessories to style my hair with. Um, after watching a lot of natural hair care videos, and then specifically after locating the following kits in Walgreens, which I'm going to stick in right now. This was over the holidays. Scrunchie had these three box kits, and all the hair accessories were coordinated within the kits, but I just thought they were so pretty. These were $10 a piece. But at the time, I don't know, I just didn't want to buy any. I didn't think I would put them into any use. Then I get on YouTube and I start perusing the natural hair videos and so many people are using accessories in such cool ways. But a lot of people are mentioning, you know, they're paying 4 and 5 and $6 for stuff and some stuff $10, $15. And even though those kids had a lot of stuff in them, they were still $10. And maybe, whether you have natural hair or not, you're reluctant to spend that much for hair accessories. Now what it made me do was kind of start sec taking a second look at the hair accessory sections in different stores to see what I could find. And what I discovered is that you can get great stuff for a bargain. The places I have had the most success with are Walgreens and the dollar store. No surprise there. But particularly Walgreens and particularly the end caps. So I'm going to stick in a picture here now of a couple of the end caps that I've located where everything on that in that section is a dollar. And another great um, section you want to look in is, oh, and great, I don't, the actual Walgreens brand that I now don't have one product with the name of, because I, <laughs> I ripped them all. Oh my goodness. I'm going to figure it out before I edit this, and hopefully I'll be able to put it down here at the bottom, but for some reason I can't think of the name of the brand now. But it is Studio Tools? No, oh, I can't think of it. But once I show you the stuff, you will be able to locate it in Walgreens as well. All right, so first we're going to cover um, Walgreens. Now, what I have in my hair now, I actually did a hairstyle, and I usually never do hairstyles because I cannot stand to have anything really tight and confining around my head, um, to have my hair pulled back real tight. It gives me a headache immediately. Even if I have my wigs and they're too tight, it really, really makes my head hurt. I don't like it at all. So I tend to either just have my hair out, just loose, or I'll have a loose headband. Or even if I have my hair pulled back in a puff, it's not like super, super tight. And I'll try to smooth it down with gel as opposed to pulling it as tight as I possibly can. So this is what I did today. Even the cords here. So I can spin around. And I just twisted my hair back. Um, and then put little clips here, left the back out, but then I also put on a headband. And it's a clear, it's, well it's not clear, but it's a black plastic headband. And so I just put it on and slid it back. And I thought it came out pretty cute. It, it's a nice, neat look. I was kind of in a rush, so I would have preferred to have black clips in my hair. And I actually have some, but I couldn't find them this morning. They were in my bag with all the rest of my stuff to do this video and I couldn't find them this morning but this is what I would have preferred to use the black ones to go with the black headband but you know what I'm saying so these two items were you know a dollar a piece and it gives you you know a more polished look pulled together look than just having your hair out and they were cheap you know I was cruising around today looking at sites and a lot of people wanted like $10, $15 for one headband. And it's like, I think everything I have here is maybe $20. And I'm about to show you guys a lot of stuff. Okay, so you know what I'm actually going to show you first? The few, the couple of odd things that I did not find in Walgreens or the dollar store. Now, this happened to be an Osco. And can you believe it? It's like a fake Denman brush. Now, I know a lot of people have modified theirs by cutting alternating rows out. I haven't done that. Um... This is actually an extra one that I think I'm going to give, use as a contest prize because I actually have one in my shower now. But this takes a little more patience than I have. I plan to use it a lot more this summer. 
I think it would be amazing at getting my curl pattern going, adding gel for wash and goes, but I don't do wash and goes in the winter. And that's another reason I have been so obsessed with hair accessories because this is a protective style that I can wear and still have it look cute. I mean, I know I have the back out, but I have most of it tucked up. And I I probably wouldn't do this in the summer. I just have it out. So I'm going to use this winter time to, do, to fool around with more styles. That are closer to my head and I can still get a hat on. Because in Chicago, you can't you can't fool around with wash and goes in the winter in Chicago. It's just not going to work. At least not for me. Some people can go out with their head wet. I cannot. So that was one thing. It was supposed to be $6.99. It had been marked down to $1.83 or something. That's why I got two. Now, what else? Okay, everything else is from Walgreens. So, we are going to start... Oh, no. Now... You never know what kind of clips you're going to find. You just never know. And I talked about this on the blog already. I showed pictures of these. But I found, and this was just luck of the draw in CVS. It was on a clearance table. These fantastic little clips. And they're kind of flat and square. But they're kind of long. They have really, really, really strong springs. And they hold. They don't come out. And they're, you know, they're brown, so they kind of blend in. You know, they're not, you know, they're not too showy. So great for holding your braids down or holding twist in. So this is actually what I'm wearing now, but I'm wearing some smaller ones. I'm wearing ones this size. Let's see, I have big ones and small ones. Uh, love these. So I happen to score these. They were on sale in... On the clearance table in CVS. I also scored these. Which sometimes I use like just on the side. Or like if I have my hair loose. I can just hold down one side with these. These are little plastic um, clips. But they've got teeth in them. So they do hold. And they hold pretty tight. Sometimes I can put two together. And this is what they look like. I love these. Whoops. What I am throwing all over are my teeny tiny mini baby clips. Now, those are the last two CVS items. Now, these little bitty clips I'm about to show you, I always get in Walgreens in bunches. And these are great if you want to... I'm not best to show these. See, they're itty bitty. So you can put a bunch of these in. These are great if maybe you want to kind of hide them. Like, you could put these... Sort of stick them sort of in and behind a twist and sort of bury them in your hair because they're so little. Or maybe you don't have a lot of hair. Your hair is not really thick and you don't have to hold it. You are you don't have to be that worried about holding it. You can use these if you don't want to use bigger ones because you don't have that much hair. My hair happens to really be really puffy now because to do... After, to do this style, I took it out of braids. So then my hair was kind of puffy. So... But I do use these sometimes, depending, like, if I have braided a lot of braids, I might put a bunch of these in a twist to hold it back. But they're just, it's just nice to have the little tiny ones sometimes. So these, I have brown and clear and black. And I've also seen these in, you know, red and pink and yellow, but I prefer... This kind, because they blend in better. And you usually get them in a pack like this. These are bigger than those, but this, you usually get a ton of them like this. Now, this says Conair Fashion Accessories. You can see this giant dollar sticker on there. Um, this wasn't supposed to cost a dollar, but for some reason this whole end cap had them there. So I was able to get these, which are nice. Then they had these bigger ones, which I love for holding braids. And two strand twist that I twist flat to my head like cornrows. I don't know what you call them, but that's how I tend to do twists. So I'm gonna stick a picture in here of what I'm talking about and twisting a bunch of them and then kind of holding them at the back of your head. I use these clips for that if I'm not just letting them loose. So I don't know what you call those twists, but yeah. Now these, as you can see, it was four to a container. So I do have a bunch of them. I love those. Now, another thing from the Connor set were these. 
Now, these are different, of course, and these, the teeth are different. See how these teeth are? And then these are square and flat, but I have discovered that these hold like crazy. And I have a bigger one to show you. The teeth intertwine like this. So this, I can actually hold all of my hair, like twist all my hair up in the back and hold it with this. And it just really holds and really, it, my hair really stays in there. I love this. This is the only big one I have, though. I haven't been able to find another big one. Almost dropped it. But I love this because I love the way the teeth fit in. And it's just super, super snug. As opposed to this. Which I'm sure would be snug, but I don't think it's going to be as snug as that. So, I was able to find a bunch of small ones like this. Clear, black, and brown. Um... I love the way those teeth are. Now, what I just showed you are Sally Hansen accessories, hair accessories. So, these are some clips, like I mentioned before, and they have the teeth. So, these are just these are just good little accents. These aren't really going to hold anything. I was able to find some bigger clips. And I have had all of these on these slabs forever, so I'm really excited to be showing you so I can put them away. So this would be nice to hold all of your hair at the back, but I don't think. Yeah, I don't. This isn't gonna hold as snugly. I would really have to work the teeth in there, but it's pretty. Now, one other thing from Walgreens, and oh, this is what I can't think of the name of. It is this product line, and. You can get sets of headbands. Now, these are cloth headbands, but look at how cute they are. And not only do you get this, because there's like plain ones, plain flat ones, and shiny flat metallic ones. This. And then rounder ones. This. And of course, you could wear doubles or triples. Here's another flat one. All of these plus matching uh, ponytail holders so you could like put headbands around your head and then also put a ponytail, whoops, put a ponytail, you know, also have a ponytail. These are like $2.99 and they come, you can get, but look at all you get for $2.99 and you also get, uh, they also come in black. So I happen to have the brown ones, but they also come in black. And I love these. I think they're gorgeous. They're a little tight. So what I tend to do is I find something to stretch them around, like either a book or something, so they're not like super, super tight on my head. Like this headband is great. It's snug, but it's not like crazy snug. So I really like that. Um, but I stretch them. If they're too tight, just stretch them. Just put them around a book or something if they're too tight. Because these are really tight. But I like to wear like two or three at a time. Especially the flat ones. I think they look really cute. But um, you can stretch them. I actually stretched some and I wore them so much I had to get rid of them. So this is actually a new package. But I will find the name of these. And if I don't put it in the video, I'm going to put it in the description box. So check the description box. What else? Oh, this is one last thing that I scored in Walgreens. A dollar, and it's a scrunchy item, which is usually not a buck. And these are headbands. Oops, and I'm finally gonna cut these. I, you guys don't even know how long I've been waiting to do this video. Just been collecting stuff. But yeah, like how cute is this? And this little teeth. This was perfect for natural hair because you could just put it back. Well, it's not going to fit on me now, but I can't wait to use this. It's super cute. And you got two for a buck. Okay. Now, dollar store. First up, I want to go over something that you really, really need for the winter, and that is a satin cap to put in your hats. That's why I get mine from the dollar store. And it's the brand is called Urban Essence. And this is usually in the haircut section, like at the end of where all the barrettes and stuff are. So a buck. So I've got like four of these. And 
I love this. So you can sleep in it if you want. Um, you could wear it under your hats. You know, I I have a lot of these. I go crazy with them in the wintertime, particularly, you know, with hats. Because you don't want to be putting your wool hat on your hair. And you know what? Even if you don't have natural hair, you have relaxed hair, you shouldn't be putting your wool hat on your head. You should be, I remember when I was in sixth grade, a teacher told us that. She was like, you shouldn't be putting your hat on your head. She always had a scarf, and she would tie the scarf on her head. She was like, you should have a satiny scarf or a silk scarf. Um, to me, these are more convenient, but otherwise, you could use a scarf or something. But if you just want a bonnet, then you need to check out the dollar store. Now, the dollar store is also where I get my conditioning caps. This is, again, Urban Essence, and this is 15-pack. A bag of shower caps. This is what I used to put my hot oil treatment on. Uh, I sleep in my hot oil treatment. So I'll put the oil on at night, sleep in, and I do my hair. I wash it in the morning. So I'll wear this and then like literally like a winter skull cap. That's what I, I'll sleep in. And they come in packs like this. And then you just take off, you know, the one you need. Uh, and then you can fold this back up and put it back in the bag. So they're just clear stocking caps. And you get 15, so, you know, 15 washes. And then if I'm doing a deep conditioning treatment in the shower, I'll keep one um, in the shower with me. Because I'll put it on because I don't want it, the shower to rinse out the deep conditioning treatment. You know what I'm saying. So, like, that's two a week. So, 15 are going to last you a month, unless you're doing hot oil treatments on your head every night or whatever. So, that's more maintenance stuff. So, now let's get into the style stuff. Oops, I'm sorry. I forgot. This is one last thing from Walgreens. It's Sally Hansen headbands. So, but look at all these. These are, this is 10 headbands for a dollar from Walgreens. So, they've got plain flat black ones here and sparkly black ones, but a dollar. And if you want, you can get some fabric flowers, too, out the dollar store and sew it on here instead of paying, like, $12. Now, the dollar store has been my biggest resource for headbands. And I really like these kind of headbands, and I really got into these when I was doing puffs in the summer. So... This is usually what they look like in the dollar store. Now, this says trends, but you never know what it's going to say on it. And these are rubber, which is another thing I like because you can kind of rinse them off with some hot water or something to clean them off if they get kind of gross, you know, or start, you start getting some of a, a product and stuff on it. You know what I'm saying. And then the bottom is just um, elastic. So I like these because they're they're snug, like I said, but they're not like crazy snug. There's little teeth in there. So they do grip your head and like hold on to your head. This one I'm wearing though actually doesn't have any teeth. So this is just a plain black, smooth black one. It doesn't have any teeth. I didn't realize that. But um those <laughs> me <laughs> anyway the, these do but I love them because they're just cute so this is a darker brown one and then this is sort of a more yellowish blonde one and here's another one I got this is the pattern and if you they get too stretched out you can just knot them <laughs> to make them a little tighter because your hair is going to cover it if your hair is long enough your hair will cover it so yeah now, last time I was there, I came across these. This is also by Trends, but it's a little set of stuff for a dollar. You get a headband, a little banana clip thing, and then three ponytail holders. Like, how cute is this? So they had them in black, so I got the one in black, and I got this one. Look at that. Like, how cute is this? This is from the dollar store. This is the Dollar Tree. For a dollar. Like all of this. Like some online places would ch totally charge you like six or seven bucks for this. And I was just always like, oh, look at how cute that is. So I love this. Love this. Then I get like um, just some hair elastics. Usually from there, but there's 18 of them in here. 
for a dollar. And they're black ones, so they'll blend into your hair. And I don't, I don't have a problem with tangles with these. And if you don't want to spring for the no tangle one, what you do is when you're making a ponytail, you get a little bit of conditioner and you just put that on your hands and you just kind of put that like where the, the, not not, but like where the ponytail is, where you would put the band and then just put the band on that. And the ponytail will slip right off. And the conditioner is not going to do anything to your hair. So that's my suggestion of doing that. So that the ponytail holders will slip off. Um, as long as it's not terry cloth, you're fine. Because terry cloth will absorb all of the moisture and oils out of your hair. But this isn't terry cloth. This is some weird nylon material. If you don't want to buy the scrunchie, like the no grip or the no... Uh, what do you call it? The no... Um, you know, the rubber can that kind of your hair clings to. You guys know what I'm talking about. Now, this is what you should be using, though. Something satiny and smooth, though. If you're going to use something with fabric, you should not have cotton or terry cloth ones. Those are really bad for your hair. So, these, I and I had never seen these in here. These are um, fabric, satiny fabric ones. And they have a tie on them. And so, they're just smooth, satiny fabric. This will look good, because this is sort of beige. It's not coming out on camera. This is like a white one, and this is a brown with different patterns on them. So, these will look cute if you were wearing a brown outfit or whatever. But this is okay to put in your hair, because it's satiny, and it'll slide on and off of your hair. A dollar. And then, then sometimes, in the dollar store, you come across name brand stuff. So, there were scrunchy, no slip grip, uh, head... Um, Ponytail holders. So these have like a little rubber, piece of rubber that are keeping from sliding off your hair. Um, so, yeah. And I also found some goodie clips. So this is goodie brand clips. Some more of the mini clips that I like. Because I really like the smaller ones. Is that it? Oh my goodness, that is it. So that is all of the stuff. So I encourage you, if you have natural hair care and you're kind of like, what am I going to do? How am I going to fix styles? You can buy the stuff and just kind of play around and see what you come up with. Because it all depends on how you want to style. I am personally am extremely adverse to very, very tight, confining styles. I mean, I like braids and I like twists. I'll do two-strand twists or like those cornrow type of braids, but they're not braids, they're twists. And I'll style with that or headbands and just kind of pulling my hair back loosely. Uh, I just can't stand like really, really, really tight pulled back styles. I, I can't take it. I can't take it. And these kind of things help me achieve styles without doing that. And without spending a whole lot. I mean, like, look, like I have a bunch of dollar stuff here. But for $20, I have 20 things as opposed to like two things. You know what I'm saying. So always be on the lookout for bargains, ladies. But if you, you're feeling like every time somebody talks to you about a headband, they're saying that it's like was like fourteen to fifteen dollars, and you need to like you need to check Walgreens or the dollar store. And of course, there are some gorgeous ones that are maybe worth the money, but they're usually not. You can usually find them cheaper. So that's gonna do it. I hope this was helpful for some people. It's twenty three minutes now, and that's without credits. Um, so I apologize, but I knew. You know, I mean, I don't know. I don't mind long videos when people make long videos. I don't care. If I'm subscribed to them and they had a lot to say that particular time, then I'm like, I'm going to sit there and watch it. I usually, I'm doing something else anyway, so just listen to them talk. So, uh, sorry this is long, but you're probably used to long videos from me now anyway. I did have a lot of stuff to show you guys. So, again, I hope it was helpful. Um, let me know if you score some of this stuff. I hope you're able to. Walgreens and Dollar Tree are where I got this stuff. And it was from different Walgreens and different Dollar Trees. So, always be on the lookout, ladies. Um, and I hope you're successful. And thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye. <music>